Hey, what's up, guys? Tuki here, back again with another episode of my Liverpool FC career mode series right here on FIFA 18. And today, we continue on not only with our Premier League campaign as we take on Leicester and Newcastle, but we also have another Champions League matchup. This one against Sevilla, which I'm not exactly looking forward to, given the real-world history between the two clubs over the past year and a half to two years. Before we get into the game, though, I have two things to talk about. The first I'm rather excited about, we finally have a five-star, five-star scout, so we can look to bring players in to the Youth Academy. Now, we could look to kind of screw around and scout in some, you know, we'll, we'll go with unorthodox, although that's not exactly the right word that I'm looking for here. But, you know, we could scout out random countries if we wanted to. We could also go to countries that typically do deliver high-end prospects, Argentina, Brazil, Spain, Portugal. But I am going to start off uh, looking for some homegrown talent here in England. We'll start off with three months there, at least a three-month tenure. And unfortunately, we don't have another scout worth bringing in at the moment. But uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. There's, there's too many eyes. There's three eyes, and there's only nine letters in his name. That's throwing me off. But we have a Finnish scout. The other thing I want to talk about is what do we look to do when it comes to a national team? And the first offer came in, which is why I'm bringing this up. It would be Austria. We would be highlighted by David Alaba or David Alaba at left back, which isn't tremendous. Ashley Barnes of Burnley, Marco Arnautovic of West Ham, and that's kind of it. There are some other um, Bundesliga players that would also be involved. But for that reason, I'm wondering if it would be interesting to you guys to take this job with Austria. They're an underdog national team, or do we look for someone who's potentially even worse, or do we look for someone who's even better? Let me know what you think. But for now, it is time to get the show on the road. It's another matchup against Leicester. Of course, we just defeated them in the last episode. We are back to a full-strength squad for this matchup. We're on the road. We are going to roll with the orange yet again. Let's see what happens in the rain against Leicester. Can we make it two for two? I certainly hope so. On the attack here. Ball in for Bobby Firmino with speed. Back post for Sadio Mane. Couldn't get there. He's taking a chance, but he's keeping the ball. Doing well, Some cutting pressure. off the cutting off any counter attack chance here for Firmino. He's not gonna miss. He's not going to miss. We'll dab on him. Why not? I feel bad about that. One nil. Five goals in six games. So far, for Firmino, he has been killing it. This front four has been killing it, which is what we needed to hope for. Our, our main concern heading into the season was our depth and whether or not Mignolet and, and Karius would be good enough to carry the weight for this team, not to mention his Lovren good enough. What the hell just happened there to Mignolet? No card? Nothing? Anyway, point being... So far, so good this season. We're only five games in. This is our sixth game in the Premier League. But as long as this offense can keep firing on all cylinders, we should be fine, and we have a chance here. Good ball there for Salah. Hopefully the touch can do well enough. Layoff for Firmino. And I'll take the deflection. Luck is on our side. Firmino had a really hard time settling that down. I told him to shoot early. It was a great run from Firmino, but right there, that touch was ridiculous. And I think, who was that, number 16? Is that Maguire? I'm not sure what just happened, except the ball went into the back of their goal. I will take it. Old man Tug is thrilled. 2-0 early on here. It's, wow, it's going to flat out be a goal for Firmino. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, he's now a goal of game player. That was a beautiful ball to Salah, though. What happened here? Can I... Uh, hold on. I'm, I'm still... I'm always confused about the FIFA controls. What happened? As you can see me right there, telling him to shoot to that, uh, to that near post. What happened? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, he reboned it. Accidentally. <laughs> Look at this, man. Through his own leg off the foot 
Uh, it was Dragovic. That's who it was. Doesn't count as an own goal, but it counts as a. I mean, it counts as a goal nonetheless. We are up two nil. Wow. Adam <laughs> Good ball in. Klein, Klein able to get it from Mane. Mane. Firmino back post. Oh my God! The hat trick within half an hour. Within half an hour for Roberto Firmino. It is just, again, this is on legendary. At this point, we're looking at having to alter the sliders to make it a little bit more difficult here, if that's what we're looking to do. But FIFA, for me, at least against the AI, so far, so good. Whether it's been squad battles in Ultimate Team or in this series... Aside from the, you know, the games against the higher up opponents have been a bit more of a struggle. We saw what happened against Man City and the comeback just to get points out of that game. There was also the draw against Arsenal. But against these mid-table teams or even, you know, bottom of the table teams, which I don't think Leicester will be this season. It's just, it's been pure dominance. It's the only way to put it. Steal for Klein. Coutinho. Good cut back. It's Salah. Firmino. Coutinho. Sadio. He's been a bit snake bitten so far this year. Tries to get it across for Firmino. So close. Yet so far. I shouldn't have shot it once the pass came across so late. I should have gone back to the far side, actually. I'm surprised that shot even made it through. Another good chance here. Salah. For Firmino. Sadio. For Firmino. Looking to run around. Firmino. The double tap. The double tap is ignored. Hit the button twice for the low driven to the back post. It didn't go. Firmino is just all over the place. It could be five goals. It could legitimately be five goals before halftime. Chance here, and they get one back just before halftime. A little bit of 45th minute cheese there as it makes Klein run all the way around. I think it was Vardy, it might have been Albrighton. Along the outside. Uh, I think that was that was Albrighton. Makes me run all the way around him with Klein, Slamani, left open. And Lester are back in this. Clean sheet is gone. His first goal of the campaign. This could have easily been six to nothing. Six nil, and now we are uh, looking at potentially still having a challenge on our hand unless we can do the same thing to them. Mane tried to go back post. That's going to be it, more than likely, unless we get one more chance. We are going to get one more chance. Mane. Trying to cut back. Back post, Mohamed Salah with patience. Oh my god, nope, nope, come on, keep it alive. Keep it alive. Lalana with the drag back, back post. Who else? Who else? Bobby Firmino. The relentless pressure, what a ball from Lalana. What a job from Firmino to get there and out jump Robert Huth. I'm pretty sure if this was an online game, that would be a rage quit. Kasper Schmeichel <laughs> surrenders a fourth within the first half. Four goals from Firmino. He's up to eight now on the season. It's 4-1 at halftime in the most, one of the more ridiculous offensive displays I think we'll have all season long. Holy hell. Legitimately all eight shots could have been a goal. Corner played in. Oh, that's good defending. That's a combination of skill and will to hold off the opposition. That's a see right, situation. So done from Matip. Counter attack, hopefully. Henderson. Jordan Henderson. Firmino. Over the top for Salah. Cutting back. Keeping the ball alive. Klein. Nathaniel Klein. 
for Firmino. Oh my god, Philippe Coutinho makes it five. This offense is too much. This offense is too much. This offense is too good against anything other than the best. Which you can argue is fairly realistic. My god, what a ball. Firmino is having the best game I think I've ever seen a striker have for me in any FIFA game in the past decade. Five goals as well for Coutinho so far this season. Nearly a goal game player as well. Unreal. And we have an injury. We have an injury. We have a bad injury, and it's Matip. That is the only thing that could derail the momentum that we had right now. Oh, it's not good either. It's not good. I want to see the replay. It was a simple jump ball. It was a simple jump ball. Matip is out. We're going to bring on Klavan. Oh, man. That is... That is bad timing. Is it going to show a replay? Yes, it is. Jump ball with Vardy. Not much happened. But down he goes. And that's just what I was talking about earlier. Uh, we shouldn't have to kick this off. Yeah, okay, good. That's just what I was talking about earlier. The, the main concerns what happened to be the depth and defense. Well, both are going to be tested now. Because you can only assume that Matip's going to be out for a considerable amount of time and if he is we're really going to have to rely on somebody like Joe Gomez moving forward and he's only 72 rated at this point in time Daniel Sturridge with a chance here at the end of the game that will do it we took out Firmino and Coutinho just to try and uh, conserve them we don't need to risk another major injury Needless to say, the man of the match, n no question. Bobby Firmino with the four goals. A spectacular win, but a little bit bittersweet, as we don't yet know how long someone like Matip, or how long Matip in particular, is going to be out for. Not someone like Matip. I mean, to I was, I was going to say, the, the impact someone like Matip has on this team, to lose him for however long he's about to be out for, is absolutely devastating. And it's eight weeks, so he's gone for two months. It could have been worse. I was honestly expecting four or five months. But it's a dislocated shoulder. We'll get him back sooner than expected, but that's still a devastating loss for us. A quick look at the team before our second game of the episode, of course, taking on Sevilla in the Champions League. We have our first team, with the exception of Klavan being in for Matip. This game's being played on a Wednesday the third game of the episode against Newcastle is going to be on a Sunday, so more than likely we'll be using our second team against Newcastle, which is fine by me because we're on home turf. We are at Anfield, and I want to go for the win, so let's do it. Second game of the episode against Sevilla. Let's see, most importantly, let's see how the defense holds up. Johannes Geis. Great save. Great save from Mignolet. The first real chance for either team in this game. Much different approach than facing Leicester, who, of course, invite the pressure. That was, uh, I need to say that was nerve-wracking, but Mane might be able to lead the counterattack. I don't know what the hell their back was doing. We have a chance here. Mane tried to go back post. Oh. Oh my god, trading chances. What a header just what a header attempt. Mane draws the pen. What a series of events there. The huge opportunity for Sevilla. The counterattack from Mane. A hit crossbar. We recover. And then Mane draws the penalty against Escudero. I think Escudero was the one who just randomly moved out of the way for Mane. We're not going to give the penalty to Mane, though. It's got to go to Milner. It's got to go to Milner. Oh, God. All right. Against Sergio Rico. Let's see what we can do. Got him. Not the best pen, but a goal is a goal. Mane earns it. Milner finishes it. I typically do give the penalties to whoever draws them, 
but we, we had to give it to our best pen taker there, and it worked out. Milliner gives us the one nothing edge. What a crazy series of events, though, that leads to this goal and the 1-0 lead. This attack from Sevilla now. Proper tackle that. Miscommunication between Mane and Clavon could cost us. Clavon getting out muscled. Big save from Mignolet. Klein with the clearance. I don't even know if you could call that Sevilla's best chance at a half, but it was dangerous. We walk away with the 1 0 lead at halftime, but this game is far from over. Adam Lallana. Firmino. Now they've got a chance to Coutinho. Coutinho. What a cut in by Coutinho. What a finish. The little magician strikes again. And I was just thinking about it in this game, depending on whether or not we stick with this series. I'm thinking we will probably sell Coutinho at some point. More than likely at the end of this first season. If I get an offer from Barcelona, I'll probably take it. That's really the only team I'll look to sell him to. So this could be the only season we have with him. And I want to make it a special one. He already has five goals in the Premier League. He gets his first goal of the Champions League campaign. And we're up 2-0 at home against Sevilla. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Stolen away well by Milner. One last counter attack, but that will do it. Strong game. Lallana over the top. I think that was Benega that was there. Regardless. It is a victory. They had a couple of chances, but nothing too crazy. I am shocked they're still letting this game go. We could still lose the clean sheet. We could lose the clean sheet. The 90th minute. That's the longest three minutes I think I've ever seen. Again, it's a victory. It's a little bit bittersweet. Referee, is it three minutes or 13? Make up your mind. You, you took the clean sheet away from me. But I'm all right with it for now, until it comes back to haunt us with goal differential, right? They had more shot attempts than we did, but as you can see, a lot of them were fairly inconsequential, which is what I was uh, talking about. As you can see, the shots in green. Uh, they had a couple of corners as well, three corners. They had a couple of shot attempts out of that, but nothing too serious until the last shot of the game that went in, even though it shouldn't have been allowed. But whatever. 2-1 win. I'll take it. Now, I expected to have to use kind of a second team in this game against Newcastle. Unfortunately for them, as you can see, everyone's fully rested. Everyone's 100%. The only change we're going to make is I am going to give Karius this game over Mignolet, which Mignolet has been great for us, so it's a little bit of a risky move. The only reason I'm doing that is it's international break, so we're not... After this game, it's the international break, so we're not going to have too many games until we hit the end of the month, and I don't think we'll start Karius again until this game in the Carabao Cup against Wickham. More than likely, the other four starts. I mean, he might he might start against Huddersfield. To be honest, the Wickham start could go to Danny Ward, and then maybe we'll play Karius against Huddersfield and have the big matchups against Spartak, Spurs, and Sevilla go to Mignolet. We shall see. Regardless, Karius gets the start against Newcastle. We're back in the Premier League. Can we go three for three? I certainly hope so, and I've always hated playing against Newcastle uh, simply because of their kit. So I'm actually going to change it over to that so it's not as uh, dreadful for me to look at. Let's go. Game three. Another perfect episode, potentially, in the cards here. He's a tough guy. I think he'll carry on. Jeff, thanks for that. Chance here for Newcastle. Another header opportunity. Big save. Well, he shouldn't have Big been time He's save. So they knew they caught their man off. Good header winner there for Lalana. Firmino for Salah. Salah into the mixer, Firmino. And they've scored. And they've opened the scoring here. He he's incredible. <laughs> he is absolutely incredible. What more is there to say at this point? He has been on fire in this episode. What a ball in from Salah. Unreal. 
Adam Lallana. Mane. Good play from Mane. Crosses it over. The counter attack strikes again. You cannot stop this front four. Philippe Coutinho, his sixth goal in the Premier League in seven games. Took a little bit of time. The heel to heel from Mane. The clear passing chance. I don't know what happened to the defense for Newcastle. They were doing a good job of shutting me down, too. But you can only stop this offensive firepower for so long. Jordan Henderson. Ball through for Mane. One more chance. We know he has the speed, the stop, the strike. You can only shut them down for so long. Oh, what a spin from Salah. Left foot. No chance for Carl Darlow, and no chance if Mo Salah gets it on the left foot. Ridiculous. 4-0. I thought we might struggle. We didn't. <laughs> and we haven't. The spin move. Get it on the left foot. Darlow had no chance whatsoever. One more chance, perhaps. No, that will do it. Three for three. Another perfect episode, another dominant performance from this team. The clean sheet for Loris Karius, despite Joel Matip going down. The amount of offensive firepower we have means that we are pretty much good to go no matter what. Again, we have only been challenged by some of the top teams. Let me uh, mute the background noise there. We have only been challenged by some of the top teams so far this season. If we look back, we started off with a 4-1 win against Watford, 2-1 against Palace. We then drew Arsenal and somehow drew Man City, but we have been dominant ever since. We've put up five goals on numerous occasions, absolutely dominant ever since that City game, and it kind of raises the question to me as to what we should do with this series because I know it's not that much fun to sit here and watch somebody just dominate the AI so our only option well really we have a couple of options I would say um, it would be to sit here and edit the sliders to make it a bit more difficult we could do that uh, we could start simming some games and only playing the most difficult or important games on the schedule so for example here with the remaining games I'd more than likely only play the game against Spurs maybe the other game against Sevilla but aside from that the only other option would be to I'd say I mean we could either sim through play you know sim through the rest of the season in general we could uh, like I said play you know selected games featured games as we call them or we abandon this series if you guys aren't really enjoying it and we start over with the thought of beginning in the English fourth tier as Coutinho was player of the month which is pretty nice we could begin a road to glory we pick a team in the you know English fourth tier as I mentioned maybe even the Bundesliga third tier but I have a feeling the English uh, fourth tier would be a bit more fun also a little bit more of a challenge and we do that and that way rather than using you know rather than using some solid players I mean Coutinho, Salah, Firmino, and Mane they're not the best players in the game but they're good enough for me to rip apart the AI for the most part the the other deciding factor though is if we do end up starting over playing in the fourth tier building up through our youth academy how, how much more challenging is that going to be? Because I'm still playing terrible, you know, rated computers, but they typically can play a little bit better than their average. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think, because I'm going to take these earbuds out. They're falling out anyway. As far as what we do moving forward with the FIFA series, because obviously winning this consistently, I'm having fun. But I am concerned about whether or not this is fun to watch, for example. I only want to you know, have a series ongoing on my channel 
uh, if people are enjoying it. And, you know, it, a decent portion of my audience is watching it as well. So let me know what you think down in the comments below about the future of this series and the future of FIFA Career Mode on my channel moving forward. But for now, I'll end it here. Not sure how long this video will be to begin with. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, you know what you can do to support the video and the channel that much further beyond just watching the video in the first place. And for now, have a good one, guys. Take it easy. I'll catch you later.